Hi guys and welcome to my video. In this video we're going to be talking about the fastest and the easiest way that you can use to improve your shooting in soccer. Now we're also going to be talking about the proper technique of shooting, how you can shoot a soccer ball, so make sure to stick around to find out how. But it doesn't matter if you're an intermediate player, if you're a beginner player or more advanced player, this video is the right video for you to improve your shooting. Now when it comes to shooting, a lot of people think all they have to do to improve their shooting in soccer is to grab a soccer ball and shoot against a soccer net. However, that's not the fastest and the easiest way that you can improve your shooting in soccer. Especially if you're training individually, shooting against the net will take a lot of time for you to improve your shooting. Now, to find out why, you have to ask yourself, how can you get better at anything? Doesn't matter if it's shooting, dribbling, or anything else. And the answer would be repetition. The more repetition you get, the better you're going to get at that specific subject. So it's the same with shooting as well in soccer. So if you want to get better at shooting, the more repetitions that you get with the proper technique, you will become better in shooting. So the best way to practice your shooting in soccer is not to shoot against a soccer net, is to shoot against the wall. When you're shooting against the wall, you're getting thousands and thousands of repetitions in a very, very short amount of time and you'll be able to improve your shooting in a very short amount of time, especially if you're looking to improve your weak foot, that is the best way to improve your shooting. We're also going to be talking about what drills can we use with the wall to improve our shooting when we go on in this video. But first you have to understand that the best way to improve your shooting is to just go against the wall and start shooting. Now we're going to talk about the proper technique that you can use for proper shooting. Alright, so now let's talk about the proper technique of shooting before we move on to the drills against the wall. So when you're shooting the soccer ball, it is very, very important. The first step of shooting is to have a proper aim for your shot. So your aim is always your planting foot that goes beside the ball. So your planting foot is always going beside the ball, pointing at your target. So if your planting foot is pointing away from your target, then the ball will go away from the target. Wherever this foot is pointing, that's where the ball is going to go. So you want your planting foot to really be pointing towards your target. That's the first step. And you also want your planting foot to be planted right beside the ball, maybe sometimes a little bit more away, but you don't want your planting foot here. You don't want it too close to the ball, because then if you shoot, you might hit your other foot, okay? So your planting foot always goes beside the ball, and your planting foot is the first step of aiming your shot. Now let's talk about the second step of shooting. Once your planting foot is pointing towards your target, the second step is to understand which part of the foot you're using to shoot the ball. Now in this video we're not going to talk about how to curve the soccer ball, how to you know do a knuckle ball or different those different kind of techniques, just basic shooting here. We're trying to master basic shooting. In my other videos I might speak about those things as well but in this video it's just basic shooting so what you want to do first your planting foot now your foot that makes contact with the ball you you want your foot to be your toes to be flexed down and out so your toes should not be here your toes should be flexed when you flex your toes that's really locking your ankle and that really generates a lot of power on the ball a lot of common mistakes that people make when they shoot the ball, they might even flex their toes, but when they make contact with that ball, they move their toes up, and so that alone gets the power away from your shot. And that alone is making your technique wrong. So when you shoot the soccer ball, it is very important. First of all, your planted foot pointing at your target, and then your toes should be flexed at all times, especially when you're making contact with the ball, your toes must be flexed. So your toes flexed, I mean, if someone was to pull it, they're having a hard time doing it. So your toes are flexing all the time when it's making contact. So just watch here. When I go back and I make contact, my toes are flexed. Now, which part of your foot do you use to make contact with the ball? That is the question now. So once you put your foot planting foot beside the ball, you flex your toes, you want your laces to be facing the ball and you want your laces to be making contact with the ball. So if your laces are facing away from the ball, you're making contact with the inside of your foot, which is not what we want. 
what we want here is for you to make contact with your laces. So it's called the sweet spot that they call it. I don't want to really call it the laces. It's called the sweet spot. So the sweet spot is something that you have to find on your foot. When you repeat and repeat a lot of times against the wall, you're going to find your sweet spot. What is a sweet spot? The sweet spot is the spot on your foot that when you make contact with the ball, it feels amazing and the ball goes in an incredible speed. So that's your sweet spot. There is a bone on your foot then you make that when you shoot with that bone, the ball just goes very, very hard. And that's the proper technique. So in order to find that, you want to, again, let's go over all, all, let's go over all the steps together. Plant your foot beside the ball, toes stretching and flexing, laces facing the ball, not away from the ball, laces facing the ball. Now from here, let's talk about where the power comes from. The power always comes from your backswing. Again, a lot of people make that mistake of when they want to shoot, all they do is they think that the power comes from really pushing hard towards the ball and their follow through. However, the power does not come from the follow through. The power comes from your backswing. And again, when I, always, when I speak about backswing, you might think by backswing, I mean bringing up your knee. No, this is a very, very small power. So the real power generates from your leg going back. So you want your whole leg to go back. Now this is what generates the power. Now you're bringing your knee up also adds a little bit more power to it. So you want to bring your leg back and your knee up as well. And then when you shoot, that's the contact you want to make, okay? So now we've understood the three steps. Step one is your planting foot. Step two is the contact. I said laces facing the ball toes flexing when you're making contact with the ball. And step three is the power is generating from the backswing. So the more your leg goes back with your backswing, the more power, exactly like a bow. So imagine you have a bow in your hand. The more you pull the bow back, the more power you're getting on that arrow. So you really want to pull the bow back if you want more power. Exactly the same thing with your shooting. So now that we've spoken about the proper technique, let's move on to the part of the ball that you want to make contact with. So the part of the ball is very important. If you make contact with the under side of the ball, the ball will go up, okay? If you make contact with the top of the soccer ball, then the shot, you either will uh, slip and fall on the ground, or if you make contact with the underside of the ball, the ball will go up. So it's very important for you to understand the the part of the ball you want to make contact with is the middle of the ball, maybe a little bit down if you want to go for the top corners of the net, a little bit more down, but you don't want to go here. You want to go a little bit more up, but again, the spot you have to find it with practice and repetition. That's why I'm saying practicing against the wall is the best practice for shooting because you're going to understand all of this a lot better when you pick up your soccer ball and go and practice against the wall. That is the best thing. So now that we've spoken about the drills that we can do against the wall. All right, so guys, for the first drill that we're gonna do for our shooting is going to be the cut inside and shoot. So this drill really helps you around the box when you cut inside with a defender and you're trying to put it in the far corner or to the near post. So in this drill, we're doing exactly the same thing. What we're doing is that we're bringing the ball, we're cutting inside and we are shooting. So we're basically dribbling to the cone and then we're cutting inside and we're shooting. So you can also do any other move that you want. When you're cutting inside, you can do your scissors, you can do your step over, you can do your uh, side step, doesn't matter. You can also add a move to it. But how you do this drill is by cutting inside and shooting. So if you notice every time, what I'm trying to do here is to keep my chest above the ball. Now again, you really have to focus on that planting foot, placing beside the ball and your backswing which generates the power and your contact is the most important thing especially when you're training against the wall you always want to remind yourself when you're shooting to flex your toes when you're making contact and your laces facing the ball so the next drill that we're doing is the same drill but this time with our left foot so 
you're just placing your cone or object on the opposite side of the wall. What you're doing is that you're dribbling up to it, you're doing any move that you want that helps you cut inside and shoot. And this time you're going to shoot with your non-dominant foot, so in this case it's my left foot. And this really helps you to be able to shoot with both feet. So if the defender forces you to go to your weak foot, there's no problem for you. You can also shoot with your weak foot. Again, if it's difficult for you, it's completely normal. Just keep practicing, especially against the wall. You will see huge improvements in a very, very short amount of time if you continue to develop your weak foot as well. And when you're shooting against the wall, again, you're getting thousands of thousands of repetitions. And this really, really helps you to have your development speed a lot higher compared to when you shoot on the net. However, it's not to say that shooting against the net is a waste of time. No, it's really crucial as well to practice shooting against the net because at the end, and at the end of the day, you're shooting against the net in the game. But shooting against the wall really develops your muscle memory when you're shooting and helps you to develop both your weak foot and your strong foot to shoot better. Okay, so the next drill that we're going to do is going to be the Maradona turn shot. So you're shooting against the wall, you're taking your first touch sideways, your furthest foot from the ball turns and stops the ball, now you're going to do a roll over stop, and from here you're going to turn and shoot on the turn. This drill is really really good for your strikers out there who want to score goals, especially around the box or inside the box on the turn, so it really develops your shooting on the turn and really helps you to also develop that Maradona turn and so if you notice here once I receive the ball I take my first touch sometimes I need to take more than one touch either to my left or to my right then if you see I sh try to shield the ball and I shoot so you can either shoot to the left or to the right so you can choose but again this drill really really helps you with your shot on the turn
All right, so there you go, guys. That's the end of my video. I hope you guys learned a lot in this video. I hope that you apply all these in your shooting, and I hope that you see improvements. If you have seen improvements in a very, very short amount of time in your shooting, please tell me in the comment section below this video. Tell me how you did. Tell me how long you did this drills for, and tell me how much improvement you saw with your shooting, especially with your non-dominant foot. Give me feedback so it helps me to design better drills as well. Thank you very much.